I love my road bike. I love riding it, I love going fast, and to be honest, I like passing people. But every time I pass somebody, especially someone on a budget bike, there's a question in the back of my mind. Is it because I'm fast, or is their bike just really hard to ride? So I bought a budget bike to answer that question. Actually, I didn't buy it, my wife bought it while I was at work, but she got a lot of great B-roll because she's the best. Thank you. Now that I have a budget bike, I'm ready to test it out. I'm here at Griffith Park behind a climb called Coco's Official Trash Truck. I don't know why it's called that. Here's the plan, step one. Ride the climb with my road bike at a steady pace. Done, my time was four minutes, 25 seconds. Step two, do the same thing with the budget bike to set a benchmark. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using these fancy electronic pedals to ensure that I'm pedaling with the exact same effort as I did on the road bike. We'll talk more about that in a moment. If the budget bike is slower than the road bike, and it probably will be, then we move on to step three. Try to match the road bike's time with the budget bike. We're gonna have to work harder and measure that extra effort required. But first, I have to finish the benchmark climb. I just finished the benchmark climb. My time was five minutes, eight seconds. That's slower than the road bike. Not a huge surprise. And honestly, I've spent thousands on the road bike. If it wasn't a bit faster, I'd be a little depressed. We know that the budget bike is slower, but that's not the question we're trying to answer. The question is how much harder is the budget bike to ride? And to answer that question is a little more difficult. Let's do a little thought experiment to better understand the situation. Now, imagine you have a twin that looks just like you in every single way, but they're riding the road bike, nice and easy up the hill. Meanwhile, you're working really hard with the budget bike trying to keep up. How much harder do you need to work to keep up with your twin on the road bike? To find an answer, we need to know the differences between the two bikes, and we need to find a way to measure effort. Fully loaded, my road bike weighs eight kilograms. The budget, the, bu the budget bike is 17 kilograms. <laughs> Much heavier. It's a lot of extra weight to carry. Luckily, there are no holes for water bottle cages, so you'll save a lot of weight there, and who needs water? Just kidding. Uh, bring, your, bring water on your rides. My road bike has racing tires. The budget bike has knobby tires. Not good on the road. Much slower. My road bike has aerodynamic handlebars. The budget bike has handlebars. You'll also notice I'm not wearing my skin-tight cycling outfit. Those Lycra clothes are aerodynamic and much faster, but let's be honest, if you're riding one of these, you're not gonna be wearing that. Remember the fancy electronic pedals? I took them off my road bike and put them on the budget bike. They have this little sensor here that measures the amount of force that you're putting through the pedals. We can know the exact effort required to ride up a hill at a given speed. On the benchmark climb for both the road bike and this budget bike, the pedals reported an average of 250-ish watts for the entire climb. Even though I put out the same power on each bike, the times were drastically different. On the next attempt with the budget bike, I'm gonna aim for the same time as the road bike, which means my watts will need to increase. Also, by uh, putting these on this bike, I realize it's now no longer a budget bike. It's increased the value by $747. It's okay, don't worry about it, it's for science. Much harder, much, much harder. As you can see, my pacing was a little bit off. Oh well, hopefully I get better at this with time. Four minutes, 35 seconds on the budget bike required an average of 293 watts. Since I'm not a real scientist, let's just round off all these numbers for easy math. We'll estimate a 300 watt average would have matched the road bike's time of four minutes, 25 seconds. That means the twin on the road bike averaged 250 watts of power while you had to average 300 you had to work 20% harder. 20% didn't seem like that much to me until I put it into perspective. If you're the same height as an average American dude, 5'9", and you magically increase your height by 20%, you could play professional basketball because you'd be over six feet, 10 inches tall. A 20% increase is massive. I see you budget bike riders, y'all are strong. Was this experiment perfect? No. Are budget bikes bad? Also no. I'm a firm believer that all bikes are good bikes. There are great bikes, but all bikes are good. Ride what you got.